the fuck are you guys doing today? So today, uh, what we're working on is the driver said there is no city horn on this truck. So let's kind of run through here and uh, I'm going to kind of give you my like electrical diagnosis thought fucking process. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is figure out, well, where is the city horn? Uh, we want to find out if there's any fuses that go with the city horn, and I got this thing right here. Okay, so what I see here is there's a 10 amp fuse and a relay, okay? So the first thing I do is I go, okay, we got to find that. So let me get a, let me get a flashlight for you guys here. Ah, oh, what a day. What a fucking day. Alrighty. So, this is our 10 amp fuse right here. So, we're going to pull that out. That kind of looks like a circuit breaker type fuse. Alright, we're going to hit the horn. Okay, now we don't hear any clicks or anything because we pulled that out. Oh. Okay, let's put that in. That's in spot K7. Okay, now let's see if we can hear anything now. We're going to see if we can hear that relay click. Okay, I don't know if you can hear that, but we have our relay clicking. Okay. So that tells me that the horn is good to this point because if we pull the fuse out, we got no relay, okay? Now we have no other check engine lights, anything like that. So let's go ahead and go get a, uh, some, uh, you know, like, uh, not a scope on a rope, but we're going to go get um, a DBO in or whatever you want to call it. All right, so we got this thing right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but we got the snap on one. Let's see if how these, all right, these cables kind of suck. Let's, let's see what we got here. We might come back and get that. And I don't know how I'm going to do this. So we have to find our city horn, and that is right there. And we got wires to it. Now I don't see any, oop, there's our wire to it. I don't see any like green crusties or anything in there. Let me sit you guys uh, somewhere out of the way here. Okay, I don't see any kind of weird resistance in there. So I'm going to see if I can take these things apart and see if uh, I can plug in something here. And then we got to go in and hit the city horn. Hold on a second. Let me get rid of these because I, I hate these fucking leads. I'm going to go get the fluke leads. All right, I got my fluke leads. What I'm going to do is see if I can plug this in. Okay, it's a little bit smaller than this one. Okay, if, it's, if you got the snap-on ones, it's the blue leads. So let's go ahead and plug this in there. So all we're doing is just uh, plugging this into the connector here. <sighs> Get out our... The fluke leads are so much nicer. Alrighty. Now, let's plug this stuff in. Okay, and see if we can. Okay. So we got our leads plugged in, and we are just going to see. Look at that. So we have 12.8 volts to the city horn. Okay, so now that we determined that all of our wiring is good 
to this city horn. As you can see, I got my jumpers in there real nice. I don't know what kind of video this is going to make, but uh, we got that. And there's where our city horn bolts up up there. So we obviously determined before we just fucking order a city horn and do a bunch of crazy shit, let's figure out if we have power to it and all that shit. That's what I'm really trying to show you, how to test for power, you know? Um, so, again, there we go, we got power. So, now I know that the city horn is no fucking good. So let's go up here and see how we can figure out how to get this off. And uh, we'll go ahead and get this ready to replace. It looks like one, maybe 12 millimeter screw. 13 maybe. All right, let's see if this is the right fucking size. Oh. Pull that out. And there is our broken city horn. As you can see, we got no green crusties in there. I don't know if it comes with this bracket or whatever. I do see that it's been wearing on something here. Um, that's not good. I don't know if you can see that. Alrighty, so we got our city horn off here. Now we just gotta wait. Uh, for Peterbilt to come and bring us a city horn. Um, I kind of looked at this earlier and what I did is I guessed that the city horn was no fucking good. But I wanted to come back and show you the thought process of kind of how I got there. Um, just because I thought it'd be an interesting video to show you that, you know, I kind of know what I'm doing, but I'm no, I don't want to be called a parts changer. So, you know, I'm sure that this thing is fucking bad. Maybe we can uh, test it, see if we got, like, uh, resistance in here. Maybe that's what we'll do now. Let me go get all this stuff off. Alrighty. People say that this multimeter sucks. I've never had a problem with it. Let's put this in here. Alright. Okay, put that on ohms. All right, we got... This keeps rising here. Holy shit. As you can tell, let's make sure that we got... All right. What we need to do is we'll test the new one when we get it here. Um, just to know, you know, like this thing is bouncing all around. I don't know if I have it on there right. I don't know which one's positive and negative in there. So we'll just switch it, see what we got. I have a feeling I don't think it's the one that keeps ramping up. Alright, so this just keeps going up. Uh, I'm not that I'm not that intelligent on like ohm testing and all that stuff. You know, I just know that we ain't got power to it. And it keeps doing the same thing. So we'll test the new one when we get here, uh, when it gets here, and uh, see what we got. But I'm going to take a guess that it doesn't come with this bracket. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off. That's going to be millimeter. 10 millimeter. Fucking great. Here's another question. People ask me why I have two of everything. Because I don't like fucking with shit. But we'll test the other one when we get here. We'll kind of see what the resistance is. And uh, we'll go from there. Sorry, the magic of YouTube. We got ourselves a new fucking uh, city horn here. So let's just check the ohms on this one to see what a new one is supposed to be. So we can shock that in our memory. Look at that. 
0.6 ohms. All right. Now let's look at our old one here. Get this plugged in. And we got 14 ohms. So obviously this thing is junk. What I also like to say is it comes with this bracket. So now that we know uh, that that is all fucking foobard, let's go over here to the truck here and uh, we'll put this back on and plug her in and see what we got. Alrighty there, we'll screw this, get this started right back up in there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You think they gave you a long enough bolt? Alrighty. Then we'll go ahead and get our plug. Plug that back in. Get our ass off there. Ah. Whoa. Belt fell down. These truck steps are the shit. Look at that. Alrighty. Throw this over here. Now, let's cross our fingers and hope to die that our city horn works. Ah, oh, yeah. Winning. So guys, like always, uh, I just wanted to show you the thought process on how I got to that we had a bad city horn. <coughs> Hope you uh, like this video. Hopefully you can use this uh, if you're trying to diagnose something so you don't become a parts changer. Uh, but uh, like always, check out Instagram, Facebook, Patreon, all that bullshit. And uh, like always, thanks for watching and I gotta fucking go.